Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Tarot for You 444. Um, today I just wanted to um, do a little talk about um, the aspects of, you know, the twin flame journey, um, which, you know, so many find difficult, um, divine masculine equally as, as divine feminine too. Um, so what I wanted to just bring up is the fact that, you know, there are really three aspects of, you know, of people, um, you know, living on Earth or Gaia um, at this present time. And for Twin Flames, um, I think what becomes really noticeable is that, you know, we have a 3D aspect of self, which is the physical body, um, you know, residing on the Earth plane. And, um, you know, it has wants and needs and has an ego and, you know, has, uh, you know, when I say wants and needs, I'm talking about food and shelter and, you know, light and water and, um, you know, the need for relationships, the need for, um, you know, sexuality, perhaps, um, gender, um, you know, you know, those passions that come from being in a physical human body so that could even you know include you know eating your favorite food or um, you know enjoying a certain hobby or sport or something like that so that's the 3d aspect of twin flames and I mean it's not just for twin flames of course that's anyone on Gaia who's in a you know uh, residing in a human body so I always say um, the next the next part is the soul so for me i believe you know intrinsically that the soul wraps around the body and you know when when we pass on the soul is what goes on and you know it actually leaves the body so um you know the soul being around the body not inside of the body also explains you know the why we see auras um, and things like that and so there's been a lot of I mean whichever you believe whether the soul's inside of the body or around the body is um, you know a personal belief that you know I would ask you to go and investigate for your own um, you know like obviously you know my opinion is my opinion but let's say we have a soul as the next step so we've said you know we've got a 3d self which is the physical aspect the body the biological part of us and then the next part is the soul, which is that light, that essence that um, I believe goes on and on, um, you know, in through lifetimes. So, you know, whether we're reincarnated or whether we go back to source, um, you know, that soul um, is what, you know, makes the body be able to move and do the things it does um, from a spiritual place. Okay, so, you know, obviously the 3D self has got, you know, a brain and lungs and a heart and a liver and kidneys. And so the biological workings there are of 3D self. Um, but then when we, we know we are also a soul, um, that's when, you know, we can really, you know, we get that feeling, you know, it's that, that feeling that you can't explain when you experience joy or the... Um, you know the way you feel when you first meet your twin flame and or if you haven't met your twin flame yet or a soulmate um it's you know it's immense joy it's immense you know that feeling um the heightened feeling you know it's like when you connect to god um or whatever you believe in um so i'm not trying to push any agendas when i talk of this i'm just trying to say that so far we know we've got a 3d physical self then we've got a soul self and then of course we've got a higher self which some people also call the over soul and so the over soul to me is that kind of 10d i would say it's like 10th dimensional perspective that's you know way 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 up it could even be you know 12th dimensional um that sort of oversees and gives us messages you know it when we can get ourselves ascended enough to listen to the messages from the oversoul or our higher self 
um, the higher self can also connect with um, you know other beings of light or angels or God or source energy or whatever you want to call it okay so so the the big thing I want to say is that you know for right now you know if you're on earth right now um, in a body you've got a 3d aspect and you've got a soul aspect and if you can ascend yourself high enough you know through meditation or yoga or spiritual practice you know cleansing shielding you know all of those types of things that we need to do to be spiritual then you can gain access through the higher chakras through the crown chakra and you know through um uh, the third eye chakra as well you know and even your higher heart to the aspects you know above which includes your oversoul forward slash higher self as well as other beings that might want to communicate to you to give you guidance on the journey that you're on okay good so we've got three things 3d aspect the soul and then the oversoul or forward slash higher self so the biggest thing um, I've come to realize recently and speaking with many twin flames is that 3D aspect of self, um, you know, has an ego, has a feeling of, you know, societal influence because, you know, whether you're spiritual or not, we still got to live on a planet where there are expectations you know to work to make money to live a certain way to dress a certain way to act a certain way to um, cope in a certain way even um, you know if you're sick you go and see a medical doctor usually you wouldn't go and see you know a Reiki practitioner if you were, you know most people will pop a pill if they've got a headache instead of thinking that they, there might be another alternative and of course sometimes there isn't another alternative I'm not suggesting that you know anyone doesn't go to the doctor if they're not feeling well but I'm just saying that you know the 3d self is mind controlled to a certain extent to you know have all of these facets placed upon them you know whether that's through your own parenting sorry parents of yours or through you know the location where you live you know like if you lived in if you lived in, um, I don't know, Italy, you might be brought up Catholic. And so all your life you think, wow, you know, I'm supposed to be Catholic. I'm supposed to worship, you know, um, God and Jesus. And I'm supposed to, have, you know, say the, say the Hail Marys or whatever it is. Um, but then if you, you know, go within and start seeking more answers and then, you know, do some research, then your soul might be longing for something else. So your soul might be longing to be spiritual and not necessarily religious, as an example. Um, so then usually that's when the awakening starts, is that the, the soul's beginning to get messages slowly through to the 3D self. And the 3D self goes, well, hang on a minute. I've been doing all of these things and now my soul, what my soul is longing to do, and what I thought I was longing to do are two different things. And this is when we see people going through the dark night of the soul or um, even not to that extent, but they might change their dietary behavior. They might not want to eat junk food anymore, as an example. They might feel, you know, guided to go for a walk out in nature instead of going to a nightclub and getting drunk, let's say. Um, they might feel like turning to God or you know finding pages on uh, you know on Facebook or other social media platforms where they you know for star seeds or for light workers or for any, you know any of those names that that start resonating with your soul calling um, that's significant to you and so when you start reaching out to other people and realizing that wow there's other people that feel like me um, that you know there might be other twin flames there might be other you know star seeds light workers um, there's a whole group of names for you know all of these um, things then you start realizing that you know perhaps what your 3d self 
and the choices your 3D self has made in, compa you know, in comparison to what your soul is now longing for are two different things. And so then we have the, the thing where, you know, when you meet your twin flame and maybe they're in a different location or perhaps there's a massive age gap or perhaps there's a cultural difference and you know you still recognize one another and see that none of these things matters and love is the only answer however <laughs> however <laughs> the problem with this is that you know sometimes the divine masculine is married sometimes the divine masculine doesn't have enough money to get to divine feminine or vice versa sometimes the usual type you know that you would normally go for in a relationship isn't anything like your twin sometimes the differences even though there's mirroring sometimes the differences can seem so great that you ask yourself if it's worth it at all and so this is this is the topic I wanted to go into now so we we understand that the 3D self wants to, you know, you know, have certain things. And then if we have a spiritual awakening, it doesn't matter where you are within that spiritual awakening, but you realize that your soul's longing is different usually from already what you're in, in your 3D self. Because when you're, you know, you made all those choices before you had your awakening, before you had your dark night of the soul, let's say, um, and you know you might find yourself living in the city and yet your soul longs to be in the country you might find yourself working in a job that you don't like but and your soul longs to you know be a coach or be a you know be some sort of spiritualist or perhaps your mission might involve children or perhaps your mission might involve teaching or you know something else animals perhaps um you know speaking some sort of truth um, to people or selling something that's going to help other people you know as part of your twin flame mission um, which of course is a journey to oneself um, and then into union um, hopefully in this lifetime so then we have a whole group of people who are light workers twin flames you know who desperately are madly in love with someone because it's their self they've met their twin flame and yet they're in situations that they need to break out of so that you know it might be a karmic situation it might be a work situation it might be a um all of this stuff so so what i'm suggesting to twin flames today is that i want you to go i want you to use your tools that you have gained so far to ascend yourself as high as possible spiritually for yourself so that you can come into being able to communicate with your higher self or your over soul because when you can do that you've got the perspective of, of sitting on top of a mountain let's say so just pretend you're God for a minute <laughs> or a God or a I don't know someone who can go up high on a mountain someone spiritual high on a mountain it could be anyone it could be you know you might not believe in god it might be another god or you know um or a, a being or a you know i don't know it depends where you're from so just let's say you can go and be godlike right and sit up on top of a mountain and look down at yourself and see the 3d aspect of you and know know the soul's longing as well and then make choices from that perspective so if you were godlike if you could see you know like someone who was ascended what would you tell yourself to do in the twin flame journey would you tell yourself that this is the love of a lifetime and that you know your soul needs to be back with this other soul would you tell yourself to sacrifice 
you know other people in your life so that you can move through into your journey or would you stay in your current circumstance because that's where you feel safe what do you do you know so I'm telling you when you make a decision for your own twin flame journey that I want you to go up into the oversoul and the way you can do that is through meditation so you can you know you can use techniques and tools to to vibrate at a higher frequency so that might be you know for some people it might be that they sage themselves and they do isochronic tones or they listen to you know you know the different hertz is like 432 hertz or 528 hertz or you know the miracle tones um or they do yoga or they dance or they sing or they do something creative you know to raise the vibration so we're in that level of joy the highest form possible of joy and love that you can experience so it might be a heart chakra meditation it might be a reiki session you know there's a lot of things that people do and so that when you come into that place of being ascended as highly ascended as you possibly can so that your vibrational frequency is as high as you can get it while still being grounded then you've you can tap into the oversoul and during the meditation you can say hey i want to you know i want to actually implement going up onto the mountain you can imagine yourself sitting on the mountain looking down at yourself seeing where you are in the 3d perspective reality and then moving yourself to where you want to be after you've puzzled over how you're going to take next steps because it's only through meditation and going into self that you will know what you need to do because that's when you're connecting to soul and then soul connects to that higher self or the over soul to understand and gain clarity on your next steps so this is why ascension is so important because when we're not vibrating at a high frequency when we're in the lower you know the lower um frequencies which might be jealousy it might be anger it might be you know ego it might be arrogance it might be jealousy drama you know all of those lower kind of emotions even though they're needed sometimes when we can come to that place of going higher that's when the perspectives can change on everything because you really can see you know as if you are the god placing yourself in the right spot so that you can be ready for when your twin comes in so you know it might be making decisions on well okay i'm right there in that location i'm gonna need to earn this much money to move to that location and then i also want to work on my physical body because it needs you know it needs more exercise or we need to eat better or we need to um you know i don't know take more epsom salt baths or something you know all of the little things because it's all of those little things together that create the change it's not just well if i could just move to antarctica where my twin lives then everything's perfect because it's not it's not that simple it's the little steps that you take to move closer and if you are in communication with your twin and you're both wanting to come together into union then what do they need to do you know do you both need to save money do you both need to you know if this is the decision that you want to come together of course but do you both need to save money do you both need to get a passport do you both need to you might only need to drive around the corner <laughs> to see one another but you want to do that from an ascended place you don't want to do that in an ego place so you know if they've got a partner you know let, let's say the divine masculine's got a partner and you know he wants to you know perhaps leave that person you know you need to give him time to do that because it's you know it's not just a matter of clicking your fingers and we're all in union i mean everyone who's on the twin flame journey understands that but it's just when you come from that ascension space and I'm not just saying from that soul place not from 5d I want you to go higher I want you to sit on top of that mountain be in 12d 
all right I want you to you know take a universal look a cosmic look you might be sitting on Jupiter looking down at you from another planet you know you might even go higher and higher <laughs> it's just I mean that's just an example um, but the higher you go the more clarity you will have on what next steps to take and also the last thing I want to say is that your fear will go too so the higher you go in your ascension as long as you're making sure you to ground yourself because obviously you still need to be in the physical reality you can't be up in the clouds all the time but the joy will come when you ascend the the feeling of love will come when you ascend you'll be able to make heart-based decisions not ego-based decisions and that's something very very important for all twins okay so anyway <laughs> that's about all i have on ego soul higher self over soul and on how twins can you know use the knowledge of that to perpetuate their own journey forward so now I have an ascension package um, which you know if you're interested in that um, you know please contact me my details are in the description box below um, that would involve you know me doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching with you so that I can know your situation um, and also help you you know if if you and your twin are deciding to come into union or if perhaps you're already in union you know that what might be some of the blocks that can be moved out the way um, yeah so that's really important um, the other thing I also do is I do twin flame readings um, I won't tell anyone who the twin is because I don't believe in doing so um, I believe that that inner guidance will come um, but I can do a reading and I can connect to um, either divine masculine or divine feminine so it doesn't matter which one you are um, so I do those as well and um, you know if you need any other help um, with anything uh, you know perhaps you want to do an ascension package and get a reading or um, if you've got a block that you can't move forward from you know you're welcome to contact me uh, via email which is also in the description box so I'm sending you so much love and so much joy and peace and light and I want you to go and meditate today if you get time um, and go up into the oversoul of yourself <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty high and I want you to look down at you and I want you to have compassion for you and I want you to not judge you and I want you to you know really take that kind of Dalai Lama approach where you know whatever you decide whatever you think is good you know I want you to use love and compassion in every decision that you make moving forward in your journey um, because ultimately that's what the twin flames is all about you know the mission of the twin flames is all about love and compassion and you know spreading that with the world so I mean the sooner you can get into union if that's your choice um, the sooner you can move into your mission together and um, change the world which is really what twin flames do okay guys I better leave it there because I've <laughs> I've gone a bit longer than I thought um, but yeah I'm sending you so much love and you know wherever you are today you know in the world just know that um, you are safe and you are loved and that you are amazing in every way Okay, bye guys. Talk soon.